Hearty and silky smooth, this tomato egg drop soup is delicious. There's technique to it, watch the whole video. I'm Jeremy Pang from School of Wok, London's premier Asian cookery school. Welcome back to Wok Wednesday. There are numerous types of egg drop soup, but one of them that I really sort of always takes me back to my childhood is a tomato and onion egg drop soup. And my dad used to make this because it's just so quick, easy, and really tasty, quite wholesome. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually slice my tomatoes and give them a sear in this hot pan because I quite like to sort of intensify the tomato flavor. So just wedges will do. The pan is quite hot already, so it's on sort of medium to high heat because I want to sear the skin of the tomatoes and intensify, concentrate that tomato flavor. No oil, just straight into the pan. Next up, some onion, just fine slices. And a fair amount of onion is good for this. And this is really a very quick, simple soup to make. And whether it's a hot or cold day, there's something quite sort of weirdly refreshing about a soup like this. Once you've seared the tomato skins, they'll start to sort of break up a little. And at that point, you want to add your chicken stock. Now with that high heat, that will really bubble up very, very quickly. And that will, again, sort of bring out more tomato flavor very, very quickly. Spring onion, just rough chunks will do. And this all just goes straight into that bubbling hot chicken stock with all the seared tomatoes in there. For me, onion, celery and tomato works a treat for this in terms of flavor. You get that sort of nice, almost natural sweetness from the celery, but also a little bit of bitter sweet flavor. And that savory flavor from the tomato Actually, tomato has that sort of natural MSG in there, and it will flavor this soup very quickly. Now, we really are just making a soup. It's that simple, but it's really quite sort of therapeutic in a, in a weird way. We've got all our veg in there. For me, before seasoning your soup, some ham is great to give it an initial salty flavor. So this recipe is great for, you know, leftovers. You've got, you know, a couple of slices of ham left over in your fridge. Even bits of bacon work well. Anything sort of salty like that will just sort of, will give this soup a natural flavor. Let that bubble away, about 20 minutes, and then we'll season it. Now, it wouldn't be an egg drop soup without the eggs. So, a couple of eggs. Now, in traditional Chinese dinners or meals, you'd always have a soup, not just for the start of a meal, but kind of for your, to hydrate you throughout the meal. So you'd have it at the start, if you want another bowl in between, or to finish off your meal as well, you'd have another bowl of soup. And so when we were growing up, Especially if my mum had time, she'd always make a soup. And actually my kids, they love it. They absolutely love it. Specifically Chinese soup. That sort of slightly thinner sort of feel. I've got some corn flour paste here. I'm going to thicken the soup slightly, but I don't like it to sort of be too thick and gloopy. Just going to give it a bit of texture to hold the wisps of egg when I finish this soup off. But before I do that, we're gonna season the soup to my liking. A bit of salt. Remember, I've got that ham that's boiled away into this soup for a good 20 minutes already. So it's got saltiness in there from the ham. So you don't over salt it. And some ground white pepper, a little bit of sesame oil. And then with the corn flour paste, I'm gonna go teaspoon at a time until it's sort of bubbled away 
into my desired thickness. Give one teaspoon in, give it a stir before you add the next. I put in about 15 teaspoons of that corn flour paste and that corn flour paste is essentially 50% water and corn flour or corn starch across the pond. Let that bubble away and you'll see that the, the soup is still quite sort of stocky in texture. It's quite thin, but it has a little bit more viscosity. I don't want it to be any thicker than that. At this point, you wanna switch your soup off. You don't want it boiling when you're about to add your egg drop. Let it sit for one to two minutes before you pour your egg in. Now with the egg drop, I like to pour the whole thing straight in and then just give it a whirl. But it's important that you have let that sort of boil come right down before you do it. Drop in one little whirl like so. And that is all it needs. And that way you'll get this like lovely sort of wispiness around the egg. If you go too gradually with the egg, it will come out a little bit bitty. What you want is wispy, not bitty. My quick and easy, hearty tomato egg drop soup. A little bit of chinkyang black vinegar on this works a treat too, just at the end. Now, you might be thinking, I'm just teaching you how to make a soup, but there is technique to this you know, with the corn flour paste and that sort of egg drop, that Duncan wisp, it can go wrong. If you like this recipe and you want to learn more, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ding, hit that notification bell and we'll see you soon.